I'm going to start off the first meal off with the same thing I eat every single fucking day. I'm not going to change it, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be doing because it is a meal that I actually enjoy and I get a lot of protein. I get full from eating this, but also after, after a while, I'm not sure if it's just my ghrelin, but I do get hungry again. But you know, what matters is that when I'm done eating it, I'm full because I don't want to eat something and still be hungry. Ricky already knows what's up. He already know he already knows what's coming. You know, he's hungry. I'm hungry. Uh, I gotta wash this first. I used it last night to make this meal. That's as clean as that's gonna get. Man, these sniffles, they gotta go away. Let's heat that bad boy up. If you don't know what this meal is, let me tell you something. It is going to be beef. About 10 ounces of beef. That is what Ricky and I both enjoy eating. He gets like whatever gets stuck to the spatula, but he loves it. Like he finishes whole food. And no matter how many times I make it a day, he just wants more. Like he's excited for it. So we want 10 ounces. We got eight. Oh, oh, back. Just a little more. Perfect. You gotta put the special seasoning. Ricky, I know, relax, relax, I'm making it. Oh man, that smells so good already. Are you hungry? You want some beef? Yeah? Oh yeah, you do. You're ready, huh? You're ready for it. As with everything, we want to measure stuff out. So here we got some Doritos. We got 29 grams. So that is the bottom layer. Um, and we still have to put in these hot Cheetos, but this is gonna be the top layer. All right, this is all Ricky's getting. Look at him. He loves it. For some extra protein, we got some mild cheddar cheese, which is going to give us nine grams of protein for one serving, 45 calories, so it is worth it. Extra flavor, we're going to put some Chobani. This is basically going to make it taste like it it has sour cream, even though this is not sour cream. But this is gonna give us a false sensation of it. So, I'll turn that up one more time. One there, one there, and one there. Just to spread the flavor around. This is gonna be roughly 700 calories. I'll have to do the math again, but I mean, I've been eating this for this whole week, three times a day. So if you have not caught on, this is supposed to be a Taco Bell bowl. You know, one of those Doritos Locos Tacos. If you have not caught on, it is supposed to be one of those Doritos Locos Tacos. Uh, those used to be my favorites. And uh, the only thing that's really missing is tomatoes and some lettuce. But I don't want to spend the time cutting up tomatoes just, just because it's, I don't like wasting the time to do it. But if I were to add that, those two ingredients, mm, it'd be perfect. And this is going to be my second meal of the day so far. And honestly, the first one is not much different than this second one right now. It is 10 ounces of beef, right? We have some hot Cheetos, one serving. Actually, this one has slightly less. And then we got Flamin' Doritos Cheetos, uh, one serving of that. Because, I mean, it just adds more flavor. 
Mm. And then we also have some fat-free protein cheddar cheese. And um, let me put the macros in here for this. Actually, let me tell you the macros for this morning. This morning, since it's essentially the same meal, I think I just put less uh, hot Cheetos and slightly less cheddar cheese. But this morning I have 74 grams of protein. Uh, oh yeah, and the only thing that I put on here this morning was the, uh, damn it, what was it? It's not sour cream. It is Greek yogurt that tastes like sour cream because it is bland, there's no flavor to it. Uh, it is very high in protein. I think it was like 60 grams in a spoonful and I just chucked it in there. The whole idea of this meal is to recreate Taco Bell's Doritos Locos Tacos, which is why I have the the, uh, the the fucking Hot Cheetos and the Doritos on here. So ultimately, this is slightly over 60 grams of protein in just this one meal. Um, so let me put this in here for the second meal real quick. So all, all together, once I'm done with this meal, I'm going to be at 140 grams of protein, which is awesome. I don't know why, but I'm just like really hot. I've already taken 11,000 steps on my treadmill today and just walking in general, which is awesome because I've been trying to get back into the habit of doing that. And I'm finally there, you know, I'm finally there. Uh, I've been walking a lot more, been able to stay more consistent with it. Uh, this morning I woke up in panic because I thought it was like 8.30 and I was like, damn, I'm late. But really I woke up and it was like 7, 7 o'clock. So I got my day started earlier than normal. Which makes me feel pretty good. You know, I feel like I have a lot longer time in my day. Which is awesome. I used to be able to wake up a lot earlier, easier, and I don't know what happened, man. Um, like, I don't wake up when my first alarm goes off. I don't actually remember turning off my first alarm, to be honest. But, all right. I'm currently on my way to the bank so I can pull equity out of my house to pay off some debt that I use from my personal, you know, accounts to fix up the house because, you know, the last people turn up, you know, it's, I left it in better condition. There's new people in there. So I'm hoping that I can pull the equity out, basically pay myself back and kind of have some extra cash laying around in case something happens. Uh, so that is my current goal right now. And, and it goes far deeper than that. It's not just going to happen today. I'm not going to get it today, but it's just a starting process to see like, all right, can I get it today? And if so, how much, if not, what do I need to do to get it type of thing? Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Hopefully the next gives me some good information because I really do need to pay this back or pay myself back essentially, pay off the debt that I have um, because the renters are ultimately going to be paying it back. And that's the whole reason that I bought a rental property is to uh, give somebody some, you know, some afford affordable housing. But also if I need extra cash, I can pull it out of the house. That is the whole purpose of rental properties. Uh, essentially, it's supposed to be with more properties, but you know, I'm kind of in a in a bind right now. Not like badly, but you know, this would help out tremendously. Uh, and it's just a bit, it's going to put me back at a reset of zero, and it allows me to put money saved up. And the second loan is going to be paid off by the renters anyway. So, uh, if anything, I might have to pay put one, maybe two hundred dollars into the, a month into that account until the rents go up in the next, what, five years, if not next three years. You know, it, it all depends. It's all a numbers game, basically, uh, but still be able to keep it fair for people who live in there. Uh, I mean, rents go up every single year, no matter what. So it's just, it's just what happens, you know? So the bank was not able to give me the type of loan that I wanted to because there's a couple of different factors, uh, which really don't matter, uh, but I'm trying a different process but honestly, right now, I just I just want to go work out. I want to go to the gym and train legs and kind of just focus on that, trying to get my mindset out of the stress and relieve stress by going to the gym and training legs. So uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, let's just jump to the gym.
So I did not charge the receiver, which is fine because it's broken anyways, and I gotta send it into DJI. But I do have this, so hopefully I'm able to match up the audio from this to the actual camera, and hopefully it sounds good. Uh, this is my second exercise of the day, um, and I got two sets left. We're going for as many reps as possible, training to failure, so until I give out physically. <sighs> Here we go. So, eight reps, which is fine because last, the la the first set that I did, the first working set was nine reps. Um, no, sorry, I did ten reps the first set. Nine reps, no, eight reps. God damn it. I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. Either way, I did pretty good. I got one more set to do, and this one's going to be a rest pause, which is, it's going to be insane. Uh, yeah, it's going to be taxing. Let's go ahead and do this uh, rest pause set. All right, so rest pauses are gonna be, again, to failure like a normal set, but then you're gonna take a 15 second break and do as many reps as you can again. Take another 15 second break and do as many reps as you can again. Um, and the, the last two like uh, breaks, I guess, you, you should not be able to do that many. You're about to see how many I can do. Oh, 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 ten. Remember that ten reps. good thing that there's a, a clock right over there because I can't count right now. Five seconds left. Come on, one more. Okay, ten. I think I did four and one. Sounds about right. Ten foot one. As always, make sure you're tracking your workouts so that you know that you're progressing in your lifts. 10, four, one. So if you wanna know how to keep track of your workouts and how I do it, stick to the end of the video where I'll tell you exactly what to do or tell you what I what I do, but I'll get into that later. Watch how this camera's gonna see anything because it's way on the other side. Oh, fuck, man. So I didn't record the actual uh, leg extensions that I did, neither the first or the second set of leg extensions that I did. Uh, now I feel like I'm too close or too far away. Okay. Hopefully that's better. All right, we're gonna give this a try. <sighs> so yeah, I didn't record the first set of legs extensions, like the first exercise that I did. And then I didn't record it again when I did it for the third exercise. And the reason I did it twice was the first one was when I kind of did warmed up and doing it a second time was uh, the actual working movement to overload my quads. And let me tell you, my quads, excuse me, they are pumped up. So now we're training the hamstrings. Uh, I really hit this machine. I don't feel like I get a really good contraction on it. 
but you know it's part of the training it's part of the program so got to do them anyways and i got to make the most out of it by intentionally feeling the muscle within and feeling not feeling intentionally trying to progressively overload instead of just kind of mindlessly doing the exercise even though i don't like it so here we go <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, this first set felt really easy. I need to go heavier. What, what did I do? 90? 90 for 10? And the reason I stopped was because, like, I feel like I was just, it felt too easy. You know, I didn't feel like I was putting enough effort into it. I was just wasting energy. So I stopped the 10, let myself recover. This next set, I'm jumping up to 110, giving that a go, and then kind of gauging off of that to see if I need to do another set or not. Try to get this out of the by just one notch. Just because I feel like I'm coming off the pad, just trying to get closer to bring this end down. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh. Good run. You know, it's been a really long time since I've trained on the weekends. Like Saturday, Sundays, I used to always train because I was work. I would work at night, so I'd either train in the morning or late at night before going to my shift on the weekends. My shift on the weekends used to be like eleven to five, six in the morning uh, because I was working at a restaurant and. Yeah, during that period, I was just got to go, got to go, got to go. It's a lot more like go, 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 and do, do, do. Now it's just kind of like, well, for some reason, I stopped training on the weekends, and I don't really like training on the weekends anymore. It's just, it's just not the same. <sighs> 